In this video, I'm going to do uh, another volume of a solid of revolution problem uh, using the washer method, but this time we're going to revolve around the y-axis. Okay, in the previous video, I did the exact same uh, problem here, only we were revolving around the x-axis. Okay, so what we're going to look at again is this region that's bounded in between y equals x cubed and y equals 4x. Okay, this region in the first quadrant there, and we're going to revolve it around the y-axis. Okay, and we're going to use the washer method. Now there's another method uh, that we haven't done yet uh, called cylindrical shells. And uh, in fact, I think I would prob pr probably prefer to do the cylindrical shell method. But this is something you can do both ways. And uh, let's use the washer method this time. So what we're going to do is take a look at a particular y value, since we're revolving around the y axis make a little rectangle that's associated with that and that rectangle will get revolved around the y-axis okay this region here and it will become a, a washer okay so it, it'll become a washer you could draw the, the washer if, if you want to uh, and that washer will have a certain uh, volume and the volume of the washer just like before will be pi times big R squared minus little r squared times uh, times h. Okay, if the height of this is h, we call the big radius big R and the little radius little r. So ju just like before. Okay, now what is the big R and what's the little r and what's the h for this example? Well, the h this time is going to be delta y. Okay, we're calling the thickness of that delta y. The big R, what is the big R? Well, it's the distance from here to here. That's the big radius. The small radius is the distance from here to here. Now since we're going around the y-axis, it's going to be helpful to have functions of y instead of functions of x. Now y equals x cubed, if you solve that for x, you get x equals the cube root of y, or x equals y to the one-third power. Okay, that is the right function here. Okay, now the left function, the left function we have y is equal to for x, if we solve that for x, we would get x is equal to one fourth y. Okay, x is equal to one fourth y. You can read that very well. But that's the left function. So our big R is y to the one third power, right? The cube root of y, and the little r is one fourth of y. Okay, so if we were to plug this in right here, we would get pi times y to the one-third squared minus one-fourth y squared and the h is just delta y. Alright, and if we set up our integral now, what we're going to end up with is that our volume of our solid revolution will be the integral from, now notice our limits of integration are not 0 to 2 like they were when we were going around the x-axis. They're 0 all the way up to 8. Okay, our region starts at a height of 0 and then it goes to a, to a height of h, or a height of 8. Okay, so our integral will be the integral from 0 to 8 of pi, so again, let me move up here, what we had here was uh, pi times uh, y to the one-third squared minus one-fourth y squared, and the delta y becomes the dy. Let me put parentheses here. Okay, of course you could take the pi out front. I'm not going to work this one all the way out here, or show all the steps anyway. Uh, what we get is y to the two-thirds power, right? y to the one-third times two, two times one-third is just two-thirds, uh, minus one-sixteenth y squared dy. Okay, let me take it another step or so. Uh, what we get from here is that the integral of y to the two-thirds is y to the five-thirds. Okay, because two-thirds plus one is like two-thirds plus three-thirds, right, which would give you five-thirds, over five-thirds. Now, dividing by five-thirds is like multiplying by three-fifths. So in the next step, we'll change that to, instead of five-thirds down here, we'll put three-fifths out front. And then over here, we still have one-sixteenth y cubed over three. Okay, we're going from zero to eight. Uh, again, let's take this one step further. Three-fifths y to the five-thirds minus 1 over 48 y cubed. 
48 because we have a 16 and a 3 there is a 48 and we go from 0 to 8. Okay if you plug those in plug in the 8 for y and then plug in 0 for y and then subtract uh, and then all multiplying by pi here what you end up with is uh, at least I did anyway you can check my work here 128 over 15 times pi okay which is approximately equal to uh, 26.808 okay and that would be units uh, cubed okay so there's the exact answer right here and here is the uh, decimal approximation to three decimal places. <clears throat>